Hey everybody, I'm KK. I'm Kristen. Together we are K and K Crochet. Welcome back to the channel. We have another episode of what we've been working on. Um, famous or uh, well-known patterns that we have tried out to see what they look like. Just to see if it's something we'd want to do. And the first one is I made an emotional support pickle. Just because. Kristen and them have a yodeling pickle on their um, Christmas tree. In their classroom and so I made a couple of emotional support pickles. I made this one first and I think I used the same hook. I know I used an F hook for the second one over here. They look different sizes to me. This one looks smaller. I know I did not use smaller than an F hook because I don't. And it's same yarn. Same yarn. The only thing I can figure is tension from night to day. Like I started this one with a G hook because I thought that's what I did this one with. I still think maybe I did. But this is an F hook and it has to be just from day to day tension. I don't know. But there they are. I know it's the same stitch count and everything. I, I checked it. So there's my two emotional support pickles. Yep. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's just something cute that somebody came up with. And then somebody gifted me the Mabel pattern. So I jumped on the Mabel bandwagon. And they act, actually look much cuter, I think, on camera than they do um, in person probably because I can't see their eyes in person because they're black on black but um, they're still super super cute I didn't see how that pulled that's so pretty mm -hmm. um, now I did do something different um, because I didn't have red chunky yarn um, I, this was not turning out right this was when I sewed it on you could see the stitches where I sewed it on it was looking all janky on one side looked great on one side janky on the other and I was not happy with it and so what I was doing was doubling over my red, red heart yarn that's a worsted weight. And I was doing what the pattern says to do. And it came out janky looking when I tried it. It was me. When I sewed it on, it looked janky. I didn't like it. Was not happy with it. So what I did is I used my double stranded red heart yarn, the cherry red. But I stitched into the stitches of the main body piece and um, did... Um, the comb in in the stitches and I think I on this one I added a double crochet to it too to make it taller because when I was doing it it wasn't getting as tall as the other one for some reason the way I was doing it so I did it like they said um, but I stitched into the pattern instead and then I added a double crochet at this front piece to make it do what I wanted to do and that one was the first one I did little chunky monkey I'll let you hold that one and that was with a K hook. I think it called for an eight millimeter. And if I'm not mistaken, I think my K is I don't know, maybe a six. Oh no, oh no, something. But um, I have a seven in a furl, or I have a seven in furls that says L. I also have an L that says. Um, something completely different. So the numbers don't match up, right? The millimeters. So I did this one with um, a K hook. Actually, right here it is. Hold on. It is a 6.5. So that is a Susan Bates. No, that's a boy. Yep. I don't use Susan Bates. I don't know why I said that. A boy. I can't stand Susan Bates hook. Sorry. Everybody's different, right? That's a boy 6.5. That's what I did the little one with. And then with this one, put them up there so you can see this side by side. Yeah. This is an L hook. Um, furls. I think it was a furls L hook, which made it a 7. So it's just um, 0.5 millimeter difference, but you can see the difference in the sizing. So, same thing with the um, top. I crocheted into the stitches instead. Mabel Chicken is really cute, really simple, really easy. Um, I would highly recommend the pattern. Um, super cute. I want to try it in some other colors too. Because I love this. Whoa. Dead chicken. I love this black and white. But I'd like to see it in, um, like I have a heathered color I'd like to do it in. But I'll have to hold two strands together. But it'd be super stinking cute. So, I want to try that and see too. And these two are stuffed with um, a pantyhose filled with yarn scraps. And it makes them squishy. 
and it's really neat so yep those are the finished objects for this week so <laughs> chicken lady playing with the chicken so um let us know what you're working on down below let us know if you tried mabel chicken or the emotional support pickle almost said emotional support chicken i've heard that too there are some emotional support chickens too and i think i need some so um let us know if you've tried either one and what you think of them and uh this is red heart time almost said spring green and this is uh well she's looking for it well we're speaking of farm animals i'm looking for a like this size crochet amigurumi cow pattern Send them my way, please. Just the head or the whole thing? Either or. I think there's one for a head from um, Old Soul Crochet, a Christmas ornament. And I think I have the pattern. I think I paid for it. So this is Loops and Threads Rings, Ring Spun Acrylic Blend. And color 14014. No names. So that's what that is. And this was given to me by Susan Lawless, right? Yes. Yes. So um, that's what I made my Mabel chickens with. So Oak and, what's it called? Oak and Marlowe? I don't know what I did with it. Yep, there it is. Mabel chicken, chicken Oak and Marlowe. Yep. So I was gifted the pattern and the yarn came uh, from Susan Lawless. And um, she gifted me the pattern, and so there you go. I was super thrilled. I've been wanting to make these. I've been seeing them everywhere. I wasn't sure where the pattern was coming from. I think there are several versions, actually, from what I understand. But um, this one was super quick and easy. I haven't tried the other ones, so there you go. There's my little chick chick chickens and my emotional support pickles. Don't forget to be kind because... Your meal's a journey. Let us know down below what you're working on. If you have an amigurumi you are looking for a pattern, let us know. Or if there's one you'd like for somebody else to try first before you try it to see if we can find one that is appropriate or that's easy to work up. This one's super easy. Um, it is no sew except for you uh, sew this on, put the eyes on, you sew this on. So no sew other than that. Super, super easy. Um, yeah, this doesn't take long at all. So to me, I consider that no sew because, you know, it's like five minutes or less, so it's not that big a deal. You're not putting a bunch of pieces on. It's a good thing about chickens, right? So anyway, we hope to see you tomorrow and the next day and all the days after that. And I don't know why I'm saying tomorrow because we may not be here tomorrow, right? So anyway, excuse me. Um, you hear Roxy in the background. She is sleepy and snoring her little self to death. So don't forget to be kind. You don't know anybody else's journey. Leave your comments down below, and we will see you again soon. Bye.